What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Thunderby29 here. And yep, I just want to thank you all so much for the love and support you gave me on my last three Fortnite videos. But ever since Chapter 2 Season 5 began, I've gotten lots and lots of criticism, a lot of dumb hate comments, which are made by a bunch of 9 to 12 year old Fortnite fanboys. I'm going to read some of the comments and I'm going to address them. So let's start with the first comment. Idiot, you're playing Fortnite in background. Plus, I agree, Fortnite is the most trash game in the world. Um, duh, because it is a Fortnite rant. And that clip that I recorded that was back in 2018, not 2020. And if I'm going to make a rant or complain about a game, I have to put gameplay in it so people will know what I'm talking about. He's not even a real critic. Why are we listening to him? He mad he got take the L on LOL and got killed by a sweat. Um, duh, I'm not a real critic. I'm just some ordinary YouTuber who's allowed to state his own opinion. And how you typed this sentence, I can literally tell that it was a nine-year-old that typed this. Because literally, half of the stuff he said literally does not make any sense. And if you're going to question of why are people listening, my real question is, why are you listening? Whoever told you that Fortnite sucks is dumb because a lot of streamers are coming back and Fortnite is having its best season so far in Chapter 2 for what I think. Actually, nobody told me that Fortnite sucks. I'm saying that Fortnite sucks. I've been playing this game for three years. I loved this game back in 2018 and 2019. I just miss the old ways of Fortnite. I wish Fortnite would go back to its roots the way it originally was before. Apparently, last I've been hearing, a lot of people have actually been going to Warzone, believe it or not. And a lot of people are actually angry at Fortnite that they copied the bounty idea from Warzone. This game is still good. Y'all are just mad. Stop crying. This is the best game of the decade. Probably you guys are just bad at it. That doesn't make it bad. Damn, dude. Are you trying to kill me or something? At least put some periods or commas in your sentence so at least it will make more sense. And Fortnite being the number one game of the decade, however, that is not entirely true. Maybe if Fortnite continued being the way it used to be like it did in 2018, maybe it could have been. I remember back in 2018 on Twitch, Fortnite did become the number one game on Twitch back in 2018. But all years ever since then, the game has been going down and down the list ever since. Warzone will eventually surpass Fortnite. Wait, did he say the worst part of Season 2, Chapter 1 was that they didn't change anything? Uh, already disagree. Season 2, Chapter 1. Yo, what did I just read? <laughs> season 2, Chapter 1. There's no way in hell I'd ever rant on that. I'd rather go back in that time than season one of chapter two. <laughs> but really, though, they didn't do anything for chapter two, season one. If you've literally played the entire season of that for four months, all they did was put in a couple of events, gave a couple of Christmas presents and added a couple of weapons. And that's it. That's all they did to it. Another nine-year-old comment, you're just in default, who mad because you bad at the game? First of all, what does being a default have to do with being good at Fortnite? Anyone can be good at Fortnite, default or not default. That's just an option. You want to spend money on the game? You can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm not mad because I'm not good at Fortnite. I make these videos because I want Fortnite to be that great fun game like it used to be. Let's flash back to Chapter 1, Season 5. Even though some people didn't like that season, I thought that season was still great and it was really fun. You want to know why I think that? Because there was a lot of things to do. People still had fun with the game, even if they didn't win. Like, you can race on the racetrack. You can shoot basketballs into hoops. You can shoot soccer balls into goals. You can play a little bit of golf and drive around in golf carts. Like, that's what made this game so fun. Like, this game was supposed to be for fun. But when you see people like that making comments like, you're default, oh, you're just making this because you're bad. People like that are the reason why this game sucks. And now you can barely see anything fun about this game, except you getting clapped by a bunch of nine-year-olds who literally spend hours on end hitting clips in creative, acting like they're so cool. 
It's just a game, though. It's like, just take a chill and just relax. It's a game and have fun with it. Like, just have fun with the game. Like what it was meant to be. We, I see your video and you play. I know why you hate Fortnite. You are so bad. You are such a fucking bot. And this game is bad. No, you're such a body noob. That is why you hate it, bot. What a noob. Um, yes, I do think this game is bad. Not because I'm not good at it. It's because this game is so extremely toxic, which you're a great prime example of why this game is so toxic. And Epic Games constant release of franchise skins and how bad their recent battle passes have been and the constant use of AIs in their game, which is what Epic needs to stop doing, which is what is ruining this game. I mean, getting a win in Fortnite has no meaning anymore when there's AIs in it. And if you're going to call me a bot and a noob, how about you tell that to the 500 other people who stood by me and agreed with me and everything I said in that video that you commented on. And if you're just going to sit there behind the screen calling me a bot and a noob, well, it looks like I got a new nickname for you. I'm going to call you a wimp because you know what's funny? You end up deleting that comment like a coward. And one final thing to mention, if Fortnite was still such a really great game like it was in 2019 and 2018, then how come this game did not win any awards in 2020 compared to 2019 and 2018 where it won numerous number of awards, including best ongoing game. But that discussion will be for another day. Anyways, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Also, don't forget, follow me on my new Instagram, and I will be announcing a possible contest either sometime this month or February. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Don't forget, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content. And thank you all so much for all the love and support, as now I'm closing in on... 1,010 subscribers. Thank you all so much. And thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. And this is Thunderbuddy29, signing off.